Uh, I've now been in journalism for 30 years. I started as a training reporter for the Shields Gazette, which is the title that I now edit. And through a number of promotions, eventually got my first editorship uh, in Hartpool 12 years ago. Uh, and then eventually, uh, three years ago, became the editorial director for the North East of the Johnson Press. Uh, I'm a firm believer that the best person for the job should always be the person that gets that job, um, despite gender. And the reasons that I think I've been successful in positions over the years has been down to a people management perspective and that we've got a really great team in the North East and we've been able to, with my leadership, build on the team dynamics and create a really good working environment. And I think that's what's helped me progress through my career because I feel very comfortable in leading a team. I feel very comfortable and I'm very passionate about developing people and bringing people on a journey. I'm also very passionate about bringing people into the industry and really believe that we need to, to encourage people into the, the business. Um, so I think it's because I'm a very people person that I've progressed throughout um, my career and particularly with the same company. When I reflect on my career to date, when I first set out in the industry, I didn't really have a plan. I didn't set out a one year, five year, 10 year, 20 year career path. I was having a great time writing amazing stories feeling that I was making a difference, which is why when it, an opportunity to become a journalist came along, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a voice for people, to raise awareness and to make a difference. And that's what you can do by creating content and the right content for the right audiences, the right time. Then as I felt that I'd achieved what I set out to achieve in that area, I thought, that I would actually like to work more with people and help develop people. I've always been really keen on giving any sharing of information, anything that I have that I can pass on, that my mentors have, have taught me, and people that I've really respected throughout my career, things that they've said that have resonated and done that I've carried on, wanting to share that. So then I decided that the best way to do that was to go through a management route with the company. And then through the years, as journalism's changed and industry's changed and society's changed, we've become more leaders than managers. And that was absolutely right up my street, not necessarily thinking that's where my strengths would be, but very much found that's what I've loved to do, as well as the buzz that I still get every single minute of every single day when you see a, a story coming out of your, your titles. When women, as, as they would, because I am a female leader, if somebody came to me specifically asking what they should do and how they should do it, then my advice to them is, is to keep talking to people, keep dialogue open, come and sit with me and see what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, how, how I work my hours. Mine's not a nine-to-five job. And then just to look at how many more women there are in leadership positions now, in management positions, and just keep those conversations going. We all know some great female journalists. Um, Steph McGovern is a great role model for broadcast journalists. And you know, don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to knock on someone's door and just say, can I just spend some time with you? Can I ask you these questions? What are the next steps? There are a lot of women out there who can give you some great advice.